What is energy band theory? When two identical atoms are brought closer to each other, the quantized energy levels hybridize and split into two different levels because of the mutual interaction of the two atoms. More generally, when n atoms are moved closer, until they reach the equilibrium interatomic distance d, their energy levels split into n levels. These n levels are very close to each other if n is large, which is the case in a crystal, so that they eventually form a continuous energy band. Let's now consider silicon atoms arranged in a periodic lattice, but with a very large lattice parameter or interatomic distance, first consider each atom as isolated. The two levels with the highest energy are labeled E1 and E2. Now let's shrink homothetically the atom lattice, energy level split and from two continuous bands known as the conduction band CB and the valence band VB. The valence band and the conduction band in N-type material are slightly lower than that of the P-type material. As diffusion occurs, the depletion region forms and the energy level of the N region conduction band drops, causing alignment of top of the N region conduction band and the bottom of the P region conduction band. At this point, the energy bands are at equilibrium. There is an energy gradient across the depletion region that N region electron must climb to the P region. In a silicon crystal, two continuous energy band exist, CB and VB, separated by a forbidden band which is not accessible for electrons. This forbidden region is called the gap and its width EG is a characteristic of the material. The lowest energy level of the conduction band is denoted EC and the highest energy level of the valence band is called EV. So that we have the relationship EG is equal to EC minus EV. The conduction and valence bands CB and VB represent the energies accessible to electrons or the energies of the states potentially occupied by electrons. They do not provide any information about the effective occupation of the energy states by electrons.